Okay, back again. Uh, I hope you've so far got yourself a little saloon made. Now we're going to look at making the platforms and scaling. Now the first thing we've got to do is to make the platforms and having had a look at the drawing of the Aquington car that I've got the size from, uh, it's 186 millimetres long so don't forget this is in 7 millimetres to the foot. So let's start by drawing our base plate and that's got to be 186 by uh, and the width of the car is 37.5. I worked out the saloon. Um, this isn't necessarily scale because I made the ends up. But um, I measured the uh, width of the bottom of the saloon using the tape measure tool. So it's a fairly straightforward thing to do. Right, let's just get that to there. Right, let's give it some uh, height. Let's call it 2 millimetres. Seems to work for us. And there we have uh, a piece of plastic that the body can sit on. But we don't want it like that because we need rounded ends and we need the dash on it. And the first thing we've got to do is work out where the saloon sits in the middle of that. So using the measuring tool, let's find the centre spot. Now if it's 186, I make that to be 93 would be the centre. So type in 93 and there's our line there. Going across 37.5, that's um, not quite half, is it? Well, I'm just trying to think. Um, no, actually, we don't need to work out that bit. Right, so that's where we are there. That's our, our centre line. OK, now the saloon is 111 millimetres long, so that's at 55.5. will take us to one end, 55.5. And the same the other way. 55.5 and there we can see we now have uh, the area where the saloon will sit in the center of the base. Well, what we do now is we can measure, or we, we start by drawing solid lines across at the end of where The saloon sits and we're going to need those a bit later on when we come to making closed spaces that we can use the up and down tool with. Having looked at the drawing there's roughly 22 millimeters between the end of the saloon and the start of the curve of the dash. So using our measuring tool we go to 22 millimeters and again we go 22 millimeters the other end. Now using our two point arc we're going to put the curve in. Let's just stand this up a bit so you might be able to see it a little bit easier. So select the two point arc tool, click on the first point, take your finger off the mouse, off the button, move to the second point, click there and then just move that centre line until it's just touching the end of the base plate. And there we are, that's that done. Now we do the same at this end, so we click once there, click once there, and then we just pull that out until we get it to there. So now we can lose those using the push-pull tool. We can. We know we're two millimetres, so we just type in two, and we can do the same there, and we can do the same there. And there we are. You could use that as a roof, couldn't you? But we're not going to. This is going to be our base. Now, uh, to use the push pull tool, we need an enclosed surface. So, we're going to create one of those now. Now, using the offset tool, if we make the thickness of the dash 1.5 millimeters. So, hold your finger on the mouse button, type in 1.5 and that gives us an offset of 1.5. The same at the other end, 1.5. OK. Now, of course, if we try and lift those now, those enclosed spaces, what do we get? Answer, we get the whole thing come up. We can't have that because you can't have the uh, a wall in front of the saloon. So, Control-Z gets rid of that. So what we've got to do 
is to make a smaller enclosed space. So if I zoom in, you can see what I'm doing. Taking the straight line tool, there, draw a line from there to there. You see it's got a, you might not be able to see it on screen, but it's, it's got a red line, which is right, because it's following the red axis. And from here, we draw another line from there to there. Now, when we use the up and down tool, you can see that we've got a new enclosed space, the shape of the dash. It is a bit rig, uh, rugged around the edges. And it's um, not a particularly fine curve, but it's good enough for our purpose. Now, using the Arrays tool, let's get rid of the lines we don't need. So that's that one, that one, and that one. Still leaving us our enclosed space. Now, the height of the dash is 19 millimeters. So using the Up and Down tool, type in 19, and there's the first part of our dash. Go back to the other end. Spin it round so it makes it a bit easier to see. There we go. That. And then we want to do the same here. Having these sort of almost polygon type edges does make it easier to uh, select a line or select a space. Right, using the erase tool, get rid of the lines. Always get rid of the lines you don't need before you actually um, do anything else. Use the up and down. There we go. There's our 19. It remembered it from the other end. So what have we got so far? Let's just spin this right round. If you saw something in the background there, it's one I did earlier. But here we are. Now that's fine. The saloon could sit on there, but of course, on most tram cars, the platform is at the bottom of the saloon. So what we're going to do is we're going to separate these two platforms from each other. You'll see why in a second. So if we take a space, let's say 10 millimeters, and another one, 10 millimeters, another line here, 10 millimeters. Draw our line across. Now, if we use the push portal. There we go, the up and down two. We go down two millimetres. Now, that's not quite cleared it, so what we do is we just use the erase tool to erase the two lines. Now, this can sometimes cause holes in the bottom, but so just always look, no, no holes, that's fine. So now we've got two platforms. So, first thing to do is to make them into groups, each individual group. So select then make group, same with this one, select, and then make group. Now one question was asked, well what happens when you've made the group and you want to do something else with it? Well you can select the group, right click, and you'll notice that below, uh, about fifth or sixth one down, is a thing called explode. Well it doesn't just blow it up, what it does, it actually takes it back to being the individual parts that uh, made up the group. So, let's make it a group again. Okay, right, so we've got these two. Now let's move this along a bit. Let's move this one to that end. And uh, this one can come along to that end. Starting with this platform. We move this along. Don't worry about that. Move it along until the edge of the... Um, dash sort of touches there. Now you can see what I mean about this actually sits on that rather than the saloon sits on it rather than anything else. So using the move tool and the page up button shift it down now we want to move it in just a touch so it's touching. Now as in all good tram cars, that's virtually the right position um, across. So that's not too bad. All right, and then we go to the other end. And we do the same thing. 
So move that in. Spin it round so we can work on the side that we understand. Now this one has got to be moved across slightly so we use the move left key on the computer, move that across until... That's what I was saying about it's a lot easier, you get a lot more fine control if you zoom in on it. There we go. So that's about right there. What are we doing height-wise? Okay, that's got to come down a little bit. So the page up button to constrain movement. There we go. Yep. And move it in just to make sure that it's touching. There it is, it's touching. So what have we got now? So there's our basic saloon for our single deck tram car. Quite easy really isn't it? Of course it gets more difficult if you want to build stairs and things and we'll cover that in a, another <laughs> another one because even I have a problem, well I, what do I say even, I, I have a, a great problem. Now let's just say that uh, you need slightly more room below there or something then you can move these in because these are all groups you know that's one big group and that's a group there. Uh, you can explode a group and not and then re rebuild the group so let's explode the group uh, let's say it's a bit long here so if you use the shove tool there the up and downy then you can move that whichever way you want it um, and then just click on it then use the arrow select the whole lot again make group and there we are there's your group so that's that now I did also said in the introduction that we were going to uh, have a quick look at the scale tool. Now the scale tool is very useful if you are working in uh, four millimeter and you've drawn something in seven. What we have to do first is to select everything and make it into a group. You remember how to select everything? You just use the arrow tool and you just drag it around. Okay. Now anywhere within that just say make group. There we are. Now we've got that as a complete group. Now here there's a little tool on the right here called scale tool. So select your group, select scale and you'll see it comes up with a yellow box and with lots of little um, arrows around it. Sorry, look, there, we are. there we go, lots of little green boxes. Now if you grab hold of one of those green boxes you can move it any way you want. So let's make sure that we haven't actually, no, we haven't done anything. Now I think the, um, I'm just trying to work, remember what the factor is from 4 to 7. I think it's 0.76 or something like that. Anyway, it's going to be for this. So a 4 millimeter version of a 7 millimeter car will be 0 0.76 of the actual uh, car we've got. So if we go like that, and we just hold the left mouse button down and go 0 0.76, deke. And we do the same on the side. 0.76 and we do the same to bring the top down 0.76 there we are and that's now in 4mm so we started in 7 and we've now brought it down to 4mm um, don't uh, take it as gospel that it was 0.76 you just divide 4 by 7 and that will give you the um, the factor that you need to actually scale the model down but uh, there we are so that's that well I think I'm going to let you now get on with your own car for the time being uh, if you've got any problems then come back and see me don't forget it was easy enough to make the, the roof you could even copy the um, uh, basic uh, shape of the chassis that we had uh, with the dash cutouts uh, and just plonk that on the top and there's the roof of your single decker Anyway, I hope that's fairly straightforward. If not, please PM me and I'll see what I can answer.